So today I wanted to do a quick video just to show you how to install Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox on your streaming device. Now this will work for your Fire Stick, whether it's the 4K or the new 1080p versions. This will also work for your Chromecast with Google TV, your Nvidia Shield, or your TiVo Stream 4K. So the process is really simple. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streaming reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell, make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway. Before we jump into the installation, let me just show you guys that everything is working normally. So let me just go ahead and launch Chrome. And here we're on Google Chrome, guys. This is the, the app version. So if we go to youtube.com, We'll have to go down here and click next. You can see that works pretty good, guys. It has most of the menus that you're used to. So look exactly as it would on your web browser, guys. If you go up to the menus right here, click the three dots, you can go ahead and request a desktop site. So that will give you the exact look and feel as if you were on your computer, which I prefer um, when I'm on these applications. So let's go ahead and we're gonna try that video again. Let's click right here. All right, so you can see it has the settings right here. So you can go ahead, let's bump it up to 1080p. All right, so like I said, it looks pretty good. You can go full screen. Let me go ahead and exit. You can go ahead and go full screen. It'll look um, normal. So it's not just for YouTube. If you wanted to go to Yahoo or something like that, it will function as it would on your computer. All right, so you can see the version right here is 8504183.127, um, and it has the build number right there. So this is a fairly recent version that I installed not too long ago, so it should work fine. So Firefox is gonna be similar. Let's go ahead and launch it. Now, when you first launch Firefox uh, for the first time, it will ask you a couple questions. You can add your favorites, add your bookmarks, and so on, but it's gonna be the same exact thing. Go to youtube.com. And I think Firefox might even um, be a little bit faster. Let's do the same search for the channel, see if it looks the same. All right, so it looks very similar. All right, you can see the same option here to request your desktop site, bookmarks, and everything that you would expect from your web browser. So enough about the applications, you guys, get how a web browser works. I just wanted to show you guys that they are working properly. So like I said, this can be installed for any streaming devices. Today I will be demonstrating on the Fire TV Stick 4K. First thing you wanna do, you're gonna go to your settings. I'm gonna go down, go all the way over to where it says My Fire TV. Go ahead and click on that. I'm gonna go to Developer Options. So if you haven't sideloaded applications before, you wanna make sure that both of these are turned on, guys. Um, mainly the Ask From Unknown Sources, but normally I just turn both of them on. And once you install whatever you need to, you should be able to turn it back off and the app should work normally. So you will get a pop-up message right here. Just go ahead and turn on. So once you have those turned on, we're gonna go home. For the newer Fire TV sticks, the method will be a little bit different, but I'll show you what you need to do once you have the downloaded application installed. So we're gonna go to the search. And we're going to search for the downloader application. Downloader. Go ahead and download and install it. So if you're on a 2025 TV stick, once you have downloader installed, you're going to go to your settings. So it's kind of like you're doing it backwards on the 2020. You're going to install, download it, then go into your settings and make sure you can install apps from unknown sources. So go all the way over. We're gonna to go to My Fire TV. And this time we're gonna to go to Developer Options. We're gonna to go to Install Unknown Apps. And instead of having a blanket, turn it on for all applications. With the new Fire TV sticks, you'll have to do individual applications. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this on for Downloader. And once we get file link, we're gonna do the same thing. So once you have Downloader installed, let's go ahead and launch it. All right, so in the URL field, we're gonna put in get.filelinked.com. And that's gonna be a direct download, guys. So, so once you click go, it should start downloading the file link immediately. So we're gonna go down. And once again, the URL is 
get.filelinked.com. All right, so go ahead and install it. All right, let's go ahead and open it. So remember, if you are on one of the newer Fire TV sticks, you need to go down to your settings, go to My Fire TV, and make sure that FileLink has the permissions to install third-party applications, just like we did before with the downloader. So once we get the file link, guys, this is the store code you're going to put in. This is my store code, so it's going to have the downloads that you'll need. So it's 162-48134. Once that's confirmed, go ahead and click continue. Here's some information about the channel. If you guys haven't subscribed, if you guys are looking for VPN deals, go ahead and check those links out. Click dismiss. And we'll just give it another second. There should be another pop-up that usually comes right when I start to download something. So I'll give it a couple seconds. And there it is. Click dismiss again. And now if you scroll down, you can see both web browsers right here. Has the version number, like I said. I will try to keep these updated. Uh, Firefox is the newest version, was installed today. Um, Google Chrome was installed a couple weeks back, so I'll probably be updating that pretty soon. So just click on the download arrow, it should start downloading. You can do it for both. Both will start downloading in the background. And um, shouldn't take too long. So by default, the two apps won't be up here, guys. You'll have to kind of go look for them. So if you go to your apps and channels, click to the left to see all. Then if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see both applications right here. Now, while you're right here, you can hit the menu button on your remote and then you can move it to the front. All right, so we can do the same thing for Firefox. Hit the menu button, move up front. All right, so now when we go home, we'll see both applications right here. So it'll bring you to the main screen where you can kind of see what's going on. You can save your tabs or you can do whatever. And that's essentially up and running right now. Same thing for Google Chrome. If you launch it, I think for the first time, we'll ask you to do some setups and if you want to sign into your account. So that's it for this video. Just a quick run through on how to get Firefox and Google Chrome on your streaming device. Uh, like I said, this should work for your Fire Stick, your NVIDIA Shield, your TiVo Stream 4K, your Chromecast, any Android box that doesn't have these applications. If you have any questions, drop it in the comment section below. As always, smash your thumbs up, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streaming reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell. Make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a video.